Hey there guys and girls, my name is Snowy and welcome to part 16 of Boomtown here in City Skylines. So in the previous episode uh, I've been building this farming industry and I forgot a very important road. I mean I always told you guys like it's important for the trucks to get back to the place of origin and I forgot the trucks that were going from the warehouses here, going to the bakeries here. You know, I forgot a road to make to go back to them. So I put that there. I mean, I already put this road here for export left, right, whatever. And the only thing that I added was that, like this little slip lane. And now they can just get back. No issues, no tissues. So I add a little bit of trees and a little bit more farm stuff over here. We get a little, little bit of more traffic over here, which is fine. Um, okay, I have enough ideas because we wanted to implement some public transport over here uh, not only that if you look at this whole situation look at the road I mean we have this large road coming over here going over there coming into this junction this elaborate junction over here you go down here over the bridge through this timbo exchange over there over this bridge over there over there over there over there then you take a right turn here and then you can enter the city from here so that's a large, you know, large way around the area, you know, to, just to come from, let's say here, pop, 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 to there, pop, 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 to there, to, to there. Yes. So what I wanted to do, and I was thinking about making a, a shortcut from roughly here to here. So we have like also a connection point from here to here. Now the reason for this area is because of this mm, weird, yeah transit transition road sort of because of this um, bypass so but I can easily make a you know a timber exchange over here and uh, yeah and also we can do a big metro line that goes underneath there and look at this place I mean look at this parking lot over here these guys are driving all around there's no freaking parking space over here it's like uh, insane no but i was thinking about a, uh, a bus metro hub which would do very nicely over here and uh, yeah that is what we are going to do in this episode yeah we're going to do something so let's get out of here i already see like i marked this place timbo intersection yeah that's what we are going to do here so before doing so, I pause the game for a hot moment and I take the bulldozer and I say like, then it would work better I guess, because then I can snap straight to this road. Yeah, and I also know why, because this is a two lane road. But that is actually no problem, because in the Tembo Turbo Exchange we always make the middle section a two lane anyway for lane mathematics. So for the time being I'm going to hook this up and actually it does, it does work nicely. Yeah, not bad. Okay, this... Um, train line over here I say the train line not the station uh, bleh, 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 yes. okay so and the key on and turn off snapping okay we need to go underground there's no yeah there's no getting around it at least I think nah, there's too much nah too much pillars no, we just go underground that's the best way of dealing with this yeah, come on, 12, thank you. And we're getting to the other side. Like this, how far is this? This is like 19 units. Okay, so we are adding only 19, 12, uh, 7. Okay, 7, 7. We can turn this one on again. And then, yeah, we have like a 12 here. And voila, that is working. Great. Well, yeah, that's great. Now, let's see. We want to bring this road from here over to this location. Now, let's have a look at this location. I mean, this location... Uh, can we press play again, by the way? I think so, because the traffic can go on. So let's press play. Um, now, look at this. I mean, we can build a roundabout here, you know, fairly large roundabout and we can change this train line here a little bit because look how this train line is going it's like you know it's just a sleigh ride uh a roundabout yeah we can make it here so let's delete this take this road let's 
Sushi. Yeah, that's fine. From there to there. Now I hope that we have enough space around here. Mm, if not, then we could change this a little bit. And we do it again. So from here, 8 by 8. Perfect. Turn off the collision. Doink. Here we go. That works better. Great. So we bring this up. We bring this a little bit there for the time being. It's not connecting, but hey ho, hey ho. And we create a roundabout here. Now, I do want to have a large roundabout because a large road will be entering it. So let's say a. S Whoa. A 64. that yeah we will compensate later and let's use a highway for that so highway section will be this one with noise barriers as well and this part is not needed for the time being so we have like this you know uh, road that sticks out but since this is a three lane uh, highway I need this to be also a three lane highway so but you know that's a that's a headache for for a later moment so first of all I need to make a bridge and uh, I you know actually I don't like those you know across those big rivers but there's nothing to do about it so let's just do it uh, turn this on turn this on and let's see what we can do from here now let's see from roughly here I'm also going to make it bigger so ships can pass it. So let's say from here. Yeah, and then... What is the distance between these roads anyway? Four units. Okay, four units. This is five. Can I get a four? Is this four? I don't know. Let's see how how much distance in between here. Four units. Perfect. Well, we have the perfect bridge, right? Look, look at that. It's like all like uh, wonky and whatnot. So, and we need the ships to pass under it. So definitely, we need to make it go up. First of all, we need to determine the ship path. Okay, ship path is going right, right straight through the pillar. Nice. Always nice knowing it. In that case, we are going to the network multi-tool and we're going to remove a few pillars. So, no. Minus. You go away and you go away. Yeah. Then we are going to the network multi-tool and we're going to slope a few things first of all we are going to slope it from there to there yeah then we are taking the move it mod and we make sure that this node aligns exactly with that node you see same height and here also this one aligning with that node no difference okay and then we take the Slope mode again from here to there. Perfect. So that, that road is now exactly the same height as you can see. But this ship still needs to pass under it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Means like we need to make it go up. Okay. How far? Now let's check it out. Let's see. Now the ship is coming, so let's just use that ship as a nice measurement you can get over here okay here we go so perfect so we bring this up i think a little bit further a little bit further also including the mast let's not forget the mast think roughly that will do yeah okay so we are selecting this node this node and that node and we align it with that node that fits easily 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 great sloping tool from there one two three 
Look at that. We have a nice bridge and it fits. Okay. Now we have to connect it up to the roundabout here somehow. So let me have a look at this roundabout. Notes. Okay, we are going to add a few notes uh, coming into here. Let's say one there and one there. Okay, we are going to move this. We're taking this road. Not the, <laughs> the road, please, not the pillar. Thank you. And we're going to make it go into there. Now, this is going to be a little bit tricky, but not impossible. Yeah, just like that. And from here. Okay, eyeballing it a little bit. Why does it want why does it not want to make a bend like I want? A bend? Well, come on. Ah, come on, you can Okay, wait, 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 wait. If I make a little outcrop here, oh man, even that, that doesn't allow it. Okay, then we do it like this. Like that, and then make a bend. Is it then possible? Thank you. You know what? It, it's actually not that bad by looking at it. Okay, roundabout, priority signs, control shift, click. Speed, reduce it to 60 on the roundabout approaching traffic here also 60 not too fast when you're going away from here all fine okay so this area is set okay now we need to do the rest we need to connect this up to there now let's see how far we can get with that party let's see uh, okay so it will definitely not attach perfectly to that that's a shame Means like we have to go wiggle around a little bit through the landscape like that. Which is fine, I mean. We do, we we like we love a you know a nice wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> okay, we connect you up to there and then from here, how far is this? This is like uh, let's see, this is like a twenty-nine by 20 okay if I remove this would it then be better this would be 29 by 30 oh I take it I take it I take it okay straight line from here to there which is fine okay and then here how far will the straight line go up to here because from that point the bend starts. Okay, nice. We're grabbing the parallel mod here. And we're going from here. Let's see, from here to there. That's the other way, but we just press top to the other side. Very nice. And then we are going to make sure it's the same height. Pressing the equal button, which is this one. Okay, great. And we create the parallel option all the way up to there. Thank you. The only thing we need to do now is, yep. Making sure the connection is proper. Like that. What's the other way around? Ah, okay, my, my bad. Yeah. And then only here. No, this is not the same height. Hmm. Okay. Not really an issue because we can just connect this up like that. Look. Perfect. Perfect. Now, actually, we can already resume the game because, yeah, this works. Uh, let, let me remove some um, nodes here. For example, here. Yeah, thank you. And also this node, and also that node. I think that will be fine. Yeah, I think that will be fine. Already, oh, look at that, they're already taking it. Yeah, 
actually it should be you know looking like a bridge you know or like a real bridge I don't know can I upgrade this to a bridge no I cannot look if I upgrade this part and this part no it, it will not flip around it's like That's so sad, you know, you cannot... No, oh, well, never mind it. Never mind it. Anyway, so, yeah, we are uh, having this thing over here. Okay, now for the time being, I will just connect these two uh, up. Because, well, it's always wise to do so. Like that. Yeah, like that. And uh, so we have that connection finally done now. That extra road coming from here brr, to there, yeah. So they don't have to go all the way around anymore here. They can now take this shortcut here, go to here and make a traffic jam over here. Great. <laughs> That's exactly what we like. Right, so we want to have a metro line that is going to this area. Because we need the workers over here. Now that's going to be... Yeah, interesting. I love metros. I I, I admit that. Uh, the question is, how are we going to pull this off? Now let me have a let me just have a look here. Look how many metros there already are here in this vicinity. It's like insane. Um, that metro has already been taken. They're at the train station. One thing that I thought about was, you know, putting a uh, bus metro depot over here. Bus metro uh, line. Probably they could use a lot more parking as well. So, bus metro, bus metro. Which is this thing. Oh. Whoa, that makes a nasty, nasty connection. Wait, 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 wait. Let me remove that. Um, what is going on the ground here? Oh, there's already a metro line running there. Oh, okay. It just makes a nasty connection when you put it there. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, change then this line a little bit. Um, move it, Mart. Okay, we are taking you down and let's say from here also down and then with this option we're going to slope press shift from there from there to there cool. voila <laughs> so that is now lower Can I have an underground look, please? Thank you. I cannot. Thank you. So now this is like sitting at minus 36. Now that would not pose an issue if I put the um, bus metro hub over here. Yeah. I don't I don't like how this is sitting because look at the, the metro line facing forward is it's going directly into the canal and it's um, I cannot even see is that the deeper part it could be yeah you know what I'm going to do I'm going to actually build more parking space over here so we are going to utilize this road Uh, yeah, to prevent uh, these car parks from being vanishing, we are going to move this slightly that way. Then we take this road and we hook it up to here. You see, no problems. And then another 4x4, four four, like that. And then we're going to make uh, another parking lot here. More parking lots like this. Basically with the same, same size up to there. 
Ta-da! Would be nice if I just could copy, you know, the, the whole, because, oh, it's not the same size, not exact, yeah, it's the same size, uh, can I do that? Copy everything in here, let's see, uh, we are deselecting roads, and then we are copying, is that possible? Oh, mama, look at that, that's nice, uh, copy, oh, -ho. let's turn off the snapping. And then just, it fits like a glove. And boink. They definitely like that. So also let me remove parking here, no parking there. These are the true, uh, true put uh, streets, so no parking there. Anyway, bus metro hub for the so many is time and again sort of I'm sitting here uh, directly across this thing oh man I kind of dislike that uh, this is the harbor okay let me see and we have we have this station over here and we want to make a line that is actually going to here and actually to go into here. Now there is also a line available here. Oh man, that could solve the problem immediately and at, at one go. That would be nice. Yeah. Okay, okay, wait a second, guys. I have like an idea. So let's gra um, grab the metro line. No, that's a tram line. And then uh, the bulldozer and let's go on the ground and pause the game. We're going to delete this line here. And we're also going to delete oops, this station. Okay, I need to go up. You are going away. Yeah. Now we're going to zone this thing. Here we go. Zone it up. Now we are going to grab that station. Ooh, where did I put it? Here. Uh, this thing. And I'm looking at it, at it. And I think. I think this will be fine, you know, with uh, that uh, that line going that way. Let's let's see how far we will can get how, how far we can get. Um, so this has to be connected to there, and this has to be connected to there. Okay, that's not the most ideal situation, but hey ho hey ho. We are just using the connection tool for that. From there to there. Nothing too complicated. Can we see it here? Nope, we can't. Nice. And then this has to be connected to that. Okay, let's turn off this stuff and say here. All nice and well, but not going underwater there. So we're doing it like that. Yeah, so this needs to be to change a little bit. And this has to go down, that is obvious. So minus 24. Turn this thing off, and then from here you can connect it up to there. Nice! That's working! I mean, ta-da! Uh, and we have this station that can now go basically to this one, you know, connecting it up. Need, uh, yeah, that requires another undersea, uh, under river uh, going metro. And that metro line can come from here, going into the grain shed area over here. Now the question is, where are we going to put all those stations? Okay, let's just see. We are going to put those stations where they are needed. For example here at the main building I, I'm putting it here with a pedestrian crossing to the other side so they can just go to that place right right okay thank you and uh, are we going to connect it also to here I'm not sure maybe connecting it up from here and we bend it around yeah we're going to bend it uh, all around here the, oh, 
all around the place. We have a spot there. And we have a spot there. And you have like a spot there. Pop, 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 pop. They go there. And then from here they can. Yep, that's fine. They go there. Don't worry, this will, this will work. It will always work. Never failed. I need to just to make... I just need to... I just need to, f you know, find the, the proper space for it. Um, here... Uh, let me think. Comes from there. Actually, I want it somewhere in between here. But there's no space. Um, and I cannot really make walkways from here. Well, maybe underground walkways. Uh, that will do. And from there, I am going straight into this area. Now, let me have a look. We need to go to that way. Okay. So actually, yeah, why not here? Yep. No, 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 no. Just put it there. We need a little bit more space to get under that river. I say delete. Thank you. And then go to... Uh, this is Smith Height, and that is an awesome distance. Oh my life, this is getting pretty uh, unorganized, actually. But actually, it's not that, that much of a big of a problem, because if we keep close to, let's say, this thing, then they can walk. I'm just thinking how to... Phew, how to connect this stuff up. So, if we just make a little side road here... I mean, does not does not needs to be fancy, as long as it works, uh, and that river also. Um, yeah, we are going to do it like this. Turn this on, and then from here to there. So sorry about your few houses and your buildings, whatnot. But hey ho, and we put this thing. Oh, this this thing is sitting in my way. Hmm. Uh, thinking, and also we need to go underneath that river. How deep is this actually sitting? Uh, yeah, so that one is sitting deeper. That does not help. No, it does not help. It really does not help. Okay, give me a moment to think about this. Okay, so I think... I'm not sure I think this will work. I think I can go down here without issues. Uh, so let's hope for the best. And here uh, in this area we have so many lines over here that I don't need to put too many yeah, too many of those things in here. We can just plonk it down somewhere here in the middle. Let's see where do we have a spot here. Uh, no, wait a second. Let, let me keep it close to this one. Yeah, that will do. Okay. Now let's, oh my god, let's get to making oh, the line. Which will be completely messy. So, we already have like... Uh, <laughs> actually, this line, you know, which I'm going to make under the river, is actually already going under the river here and coming out here. So it's like, it's a giant loop. Okay, well, why not? Why not? Why, why not? So let's make it go down. Here we go, and then connect it up to... Slope too steep. Don't give me that nonsense. Slope too steep. And then from here to there. Right, that is working. And then from... Okay, so from here, here. What slope too steep? What are you talking about, slope too steep? Oh, that thing. Blah. 
uh, anarchy on turn on the straight piece on minus 24 is that not still not enough okay minus 29 I will see what I can do with the move it mod. Let's see if it's visible or not. And connecting it up straight up to there. Now we need to go uh, go around this area. line tool mamma mia we already have like nearly 5,000 people using the metro but once this thing is done um, I'm just thinking I say like metro line tool but in reality it is connected to this line over here so what I need to do is drag this one to blimey I need to go to all the way at the end of the line. Where is it? Not there, not there, not there. Here. Boink. Nice. So, we can add the stops. And that one is connected and goes all the way here, 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 under the river, and then here it suddenly... Oh, it stops. Really? So why does it stop? It needs to end up here. Wait a second, wait a second. Let me check this out. Hmm? Yeah, here. Yeah, this is this one is like. Uh, let me see what we can do. Drag to move. So uh, that's up to here. Now there, 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 there. Also, also, also the other way to this end over here. Okay, and then here we do the same again with this one. No, that's the wrong place. Here we need to be. Drag. Metro lines can be confusing at times, but um, once you have them working, they are perfectly fine. They're nicely underground, tucked away, don't take up space, don't make up too much noise. Uh, and uh, they carry a lot of people. So why is this not? This is an end of the line situation, but why are they not coming together? Okay, so... Hmm, that's nasty. Stop. Stop there. Also drag it away from here as well. Yeah. So, like I said, since this is an end of the line situation, why? How can I? Um, how can I make this happen? You know, uh, drag stop to move it. Move stop, drag stop to move it. I want to make this into one line. Well, this is interesting, to say the least. Uh, if I take you away, 
Oh, this one is still there. So there are two. Ah, let me have a look here. It does not show a metro line being unconnected somehow. Hmm. Okay, let me fix this. I'll be right back. Okay then, so that problem has been fixed, you know, simply by just uh, putting the line there again uh, newly, uh, you know, otherwise it would not even work and yeah, sometimes it needs to be done. So, this is now metro line number 12 and it's like 32 stops, that's like hideous. Okay, so we need a lot of trains there if I can get the view. I think let's start with 16 in total and let's see how many people will take it I think a lot because it's like a huge line you know going all the way from from on top through this grain shed area back to here it also picks up people from here from this location you know people can park here and uh, oh, some buildings have disappeared here oh really Oh, because of that situation. Oh, okay. How unnice. Now let me put those back. Here we go. In the center we can also put a few other uh, offices if we want to. The Perth Council building. So nice and colorful. Yeah. So that definitely will do, uh, guys uh, and girls. Holy moly, it's like thundering like crazy around here. <laughs> and uh, actually the traffic has gone, has gone down. Look at that, I mean all the traffic. So, end result, look at the amount uh, of weekly income we currently have. But let's have a look at our economy, what the industry is yielding us. A total income of 170,000, 160,000 in a little bit and of course these values are often negative but that's okay because all the profits are made through the warehouses etc and the unique factories so yeah this is a nice figure a total profit of like nearly a grand a grand 100,000 yeah I think so yeah you know, with so much um, profit, we can make the city more interesting by reducing the taxes for, you know, for all these guys. Whoa. You know, bring them down to 10%. So our city, especially for industries, they, you know, they want to be more around here. Oh, let me also reduce these. Because nearly half of our income is coming from the industries area. So yeah, we can create more demand for uh, for residentials. And if that happens, we can build more of those guys over here. Which we will definitely do uh, in the next episode. Uh, expand more into um, um, this area. Hopefully we'll I let the city run for like maybe 15 minutes or so. So maybe we'll get more residential spark. And... Uh, yeah, I would say until that time, uh, guys, thank you for watching, uh, guys and girls, thank you for watching this episode number 16. Hope you liked it, and uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, uh, feel free to let them uh, yeah, come in and put them in the comment section below. Okay, guys and girls, thank you for watching, and until next time, see you. Bye-bye.